Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove. My name is Missy. It's great to have you here today. Today we're doing our open playlist five under five DIY challenge with Farm Charm Chic and our guest host is Jackie from Blessed Beyond Measure. We're gonna talk about that in just a little while, but right now we're gonna get right into these DIYs. This month's theme is lemons. So I went to the Hobby Lobby and I found this envelope decor wall hanging uh, on clearance for $4.49, which was a little expensive for me, but you know, I liked, I liked how it looked. I liked the shape of it all. So at first I go in with white Waverly chalk paint. I just do one good coat all over this. Then I take some Arteza yellow and I do two good coats of this, but in the end I decide that it is way too bold for me because I wanted a softer yellow. So here in a second, you'll see right now, that's how bold it was and it was just too much for me so i go in with this lighter shade of yellow from folk art i'll try to link what color this is down in my description box and do one good coat all over this now it doesn't look real yellow right there it looks kind of beigey but it is the most beautiful like buttery yellow and i absolutely love how this turns out then i take some blue waverly chalk paint and i paint this in that i had in my stash my last name is Nethery, so we're going to put a little in on this. And this is going on my back deck at home. So uh, I just wanted something simple, but something that would, almost all these DIYs are going on my back deck. But I just wanted some simple things just to go out there with some kind of co cohesive theme. Here we go again, y'all, I can't talk. But I'm just going to glue this in right on with E6000 and hot glue. We just put a little bit of E6000, then a little bit of hot glue and stick it right on the front of this envelope piece. Oh, I guess I'm putting a little bit more E6000 on here, y'all. Now we're gonna put some hot glue on there. Glue it right there to the front. Then I took, oh, before we go on, I want to show you all these Solo Wood Flowers that were sent to me by uh, Solo Wood Flowers Company. Y'all, these are beautiful. And you can dye them to different colors. Uh, they come natural like this. I'm absolutely in love with these. I'm going to leave a link down in my description box where you can order these. And y'all, go check out this website. And I will say, if you order, I will get a little bit of a commission. I just want to throw that out there and let you all know that if you order from the link. But you don't have to, but I'm, I just want to make sure you all know that. They are beautiful, though. And then I took some floral foam, stuck it down into the envelope there. And now we are just going to take some greenery and some of these solo wood flowers. And we are going to decorate this thing up. I'm not gluing anything in because... I may want to change these flowers and the greenery and the lemons out. I'm not sure. But just in case, I wanted to just kind of set everything in there. And once I get it all in there, it wedges in really, really well. And you don't have to worry about anything falling out. So we get all of our greenery and our flowers in there. Then we're going to take some lemons. from. These are from Hobby Lobby. I bought these a while ago and they have all different sizes. So I'm just kind of figuring out the sizes that I want, wedging them in there, and that's it. Look how stinking cute this is. I absolutely love the end. I'm gonna hang this near my back door on my deck. I cannot wait to see what it looks like at home. Okay, y'all, like I said, this is part of the open playlist, five under five DIY challenge that Emily and I put on every month. It's a different theme every month. Emily is from Farm Charm Chic. She is one of my best YouTube friends and we became friends in real life. She is just the sweetest thing in the world, y'all. And I'm so honored that she asked me to do this with her. So stay tuned if you'd like to see or hear what our uh, next month's theme is. I will put that on my community page as soon as possible. If you'd like to join, make sure you message myself or Emily on Instagram and we'll get you started. And our guest host this month is the amazing Jackie from Bless Beyond Measure. Y'all, this is the sweetest soul you will ever 
ever talked to in your life. She's just amazing. And we're so honored that she became our guest host. Thank you so much, Jackie. We've enjoyed it so, so, so much. Now we're going to head right into DIY number two. I've got one of these nautical houses from the Dollar Tree house cutouts. And I was trying to peel or pry off that sand dollar, but it turned out to just be a sticker. So I just peeled it right off there. And then I do use my little Cricut scraper, spatula, whatever that's called. And I do pry off the top part of this because I'm going to cover this with scrapbook paper. And I didn't want to have to mess with cutting like different angles. So I just get that off there. It does, see, I break it right there, but that's not a big deal. It can be fixed. I just glue it right back on. So we get this off and then I go through a paper pad that I had bought from the Hobby Lobby of scrapbook paper. And I found this uh, lemon that said, I think this one says squeeze the day. I cut it out and then I go through and I fussy cut all the way around this lemon. And all fussy cut basically is cutting to, as close to the image as you can and getting off all the excess. Because all I wanted was the lemon and that sign that was on there. Now we're going to take some more scrapbook paper from the Hobby Lobby. It's just the shiplap look. We're going to hot glue this right on our house. Usually I would use Mod Podge, but the hot glue was already... Hot glue gum was already plugged in and ready to go, so that's what we did. But after I get it down, I quickly spread it out and with my hands while it's still hot, and that way there's no big clumps or anything in it. So after we get that, that done, we're gonna take our sander, our finger sander, and we are just going to sand off those edges. This was a super simple project, but y'all, I love how it turned out. Now we're gonna take our Mod Podge, and we are going to of course way too much Mod Podge. It wouldn't be a Missy video without that. <laughs> and we're just going to put Mod Podge on the back of that. There is a little blue that comes through because I had been painting with blue on that paintbrush and apparently did not clean it out very well. So we just Mod Podge that down and then Mod Podge over that. Y'all if you hear thunder in the background I apologize. We are having one heck of a storm right now. So I mean it's just a little summer thunderstorm but still. It, it's getting pretty loud so apologies if you hear that again we're just going to mod podge all over the top of this this is also going out on my back deck so you know i want it to be protected from the elements now we're going to take our hot glue and we're going to glue that little roof piece right back on glue on the part that broke off like i said it's not a big deal it went right on and it, you can't even tell it now we'll take some of that blue and white twine from the Dollar Tree and we are going to wrap it around the bottom there. Uh, we got around maybe three, four, five, six times. <laughs> I don't know how many times we went around y'all. And then we just ugh, secure it on the back. That's a lot more than four, five, six times. Sorry y'all. Then we just secure it on the back and cut off the excess. Next I'm gonna make a little shoestring bow for this because it just felt like it was missing something. So I take, first I take the blue and white twine and I just do like four loops of that. Just cross it over on itself and do like four loops, cut it off. And then I take the brown twine from the Dollar Tree and I do the same exact thing, three or four loops on that. This is just kind of to give it a fuller look. Then just a really simple shoestring bow. Cut the excess off and we're gonna glue it right down there on the bottom. At first I couldn't decide where I was gonna glue it. I kinda wanted it everywhere, but I decided just to put it right there in the middle on the bottom. I thought that looked really cute. So we put that on there. Now we're actually gonna cut the excess off of the ribbon or the string or the twine and that's it y'all. So simple and this cost me one dollar because everything else I already had. Is that not adorable? Okay, y'all, I'm going to show you, this is what I'm calling DIY 2.5. And the reason is because my granddaughter was here this week to visit us. And I just want y'all to see what an amazing little girl she is. She wanted to help Nana with the YouTube channel. So here she is, y'all. Enjoy. Tell everybody hi. Hi. Say, my name's Mia. Mia. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Now you got to look at him and blow him kisses. So you do this. Yeah, okay. Yep. You want me to help? Yeah. Give me her. Give me the marker. Oh, he's 
dots at? Make polka dots. Oh, say polka dots. Yeah. Dots. Coco, okay. you're gonna be a man of video. Don't, no, don't take it out. Put it right here. So pretty. Okay, tell everybody bye. Bye. Now look right here. Say bye. Subscribe. Look, look at my, look Mia. Say subscribe. 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 Say thank you, thank you. for watching. Y'all, that little girl is a piece of my heart. And of course, we shamelessly asked everyone to subscribe to Nana's channel. <laughs> so DIY number three. I got this pie pan, I guess it is, from the Goodwill. It was $3.98, but they marked it down to $1.98. So now we are just going to take some cream color, like ivory. Yeah, it's ivory. Waverly chalk paint. We're going to paint a good coat all the way over this. It's not a heavy coat though, because I don't care. I, I don't mind at all if some of that metal is shining through. But we're going to do the front, the back, the top, the bottom, all that. Now we're going to, once it's dry, we take our baby wipe and our black chalkboard paint. And we're going to go all around the edges with this, giving it a little bit of an enamel look. We're just going to distress this thing up. So to do that, well, first, after we get this outside ring done, we go around that inside ring. Same exact thing. I'm not worried about perfection here. Y'all know, first of all, I'm a messy crafter. Second of all, this is farmhouse. And to me, that just screams distress. So then we take our baby wipe again and we're just rubbing on and smearing in a lot of that black chalkboard paint just to get it to the distressed look that we want. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's my preference. A while back, I bought a cookbook at the Goodwill and part of it what had, I think it was the Goodwill, I don't remember, a thrift store. Part of it um, was handwritten recipes and I found this one for lemon pie. So we're gonna take that recipe and we're just going to rip it all up around the edges just to make it look old and worn and tattered and you know and we're going to use this on our pie pan i was going to use that lemon material but then i changed my mind and decided to go with buffalo check so now i'm just going to take this buffalo check uh paper we're going to push it down so that i have little indents we're going to cut it out and we are going to mod podge that right to the bottom of this pie pan So after we get that Mod Podge down, then we go ahead and put another layer of lot, mo bleh, Mod Podge on top because we're going to now take the recipe and put that on top of here. So we get a good layer on there. Always too much for me. Y'all know me and Mod Podge. I just squirt it on there. Let it go. Now we get our recipe down and we're gonna use even more Mod Podge. And we're gonna go right back over that this is probably the only thing that's not going to go on my porch that I've made today. So I was afraid this would be in my kitchen and would be around things that could splash it or anything. So that's why all the Mod Podge. Now we're going to take this red and white gingham ribbon that I got from the Dollar General Store. Going to cut two strips of that and then take some black and white buffalo check that I got either from Hobby Lobby or Walmart, y'all. I cannot remember but I've had these since Christmas. So we take, and what we're gonna do is just fold those over on themselves and glue them, because y'all know I can't make a bow, but I'm trying. So we fold them all over on themselves, then we stack them on top of each other, and now we take a piece of twine, and we cinch those in the middle, and we take a piece of twine, and we are gonna go ahead and just tie a knot in the back of this just to hold it together. Then I take two more pieces of the red and white and two more pieces of the buffalo check, cut them down, and we're going to make some tails for this little bow. So we just cut four pieces, like I said, two of each. And I just kind of roll them up on the ends and I'm just gonna glue them right to the back of that bow. Glue one set down and then glue the other set down on top of that set and then we will take some more of our twine and our and we will go ahead and tie that around just for a more secure hold 
Y'all know, I, I'm telling you, I almost bought a bow dabber today at Hobby Lobby just to make pretty bows. But even that, I probably still couldn't make a pretty bow. I don't know what it is with me and bows. So anyway, we get that all done. And now we're going to take one of those little lemons from the Hobby Lobby. Just going to glue it right in the middle of that. And we're figuring out our bow placement. I decide to put it down at the bottom. I cut some more of the ends off um, just to make it a little bit shorter. And then I do put a hanger on this. Now, when I show you in my reveal, I don't have it hung up, but it will go hung up when I get in my kitchen at home. Oh, we put some solo wood flowers on there also, y'all. I'm sorry. I missed that part. I for completely forgot about that. We just glue those right down on there. Those are so gorgeous. Y'all make sure you go check out their website. You will not be disappointed, y'all. I swear. Now, we are going to go and we are going to fluff up our bow. Then we're going to flip it over. We're going to put our hanger on. I'm just using a buffalo, a piece of that buffalo check ribbon. I just figure out where I want it, flip it over, hot glue it down, and that's it. How simple was that? I had everything on hand, y'all, except that pie pan, which was $1.98. I mean, this just goes to show you can make beautiful, beautiful home decor, or it's beautiful to me, on a budget. DIY number four. Uh, this is another Hobby Lobby find, clearance find. These are a set of coasters that I got. And I'm showing you the price. $2.49 on those. Now, the reason they were clearance so low is because there is only three. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and use a Dollar Tree coaster and use that as the fourth one. But anyway, I didn't have it right here, so I just didn't worry about it. That yellow, again, was a little too bold for me. So we're going to take that same folk art yellow. It's called like Summer Porch or something like that. I'll find it out, though, and let you all know. And we paint the whole box inside, outside, everything but the bottom. Now we go through and find a little piece of scrapbook paper, again, from the Hobby Lobby. I cut out a little square, and I Mod Podge it. We're going to Mod Podge it right to the bottom. I don't show you, but I do go through and Mod Podge it on top also because this is one of those things that will be on my back deck my deck is covered but still i like to seal things in if i can now we're going to take that lemon scrapbook paper we're going to mod podge these down right onto those coasters we do the same exact thing for all three and then i put some decals on them don't know where that footage went y'all i apologize y'all know how my ipad is but here's what those turned, turned out like. Aren't those adorable? And I mean, for $2.49 for my deck, I couldn't pass that up. Here's our final DIY, y'all. DIY number five. I found the bicycle wreath. The bicycle, bicycle wheel wreath. I'm sorry, y'all, if I just screamed in your ears. I couldn't think what I was trying to say. I found this and I was so excited. This, so that's a dollar. This greenery I got for one dollar at the Goodwill. It came with this and a few other little strands of greenery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pop cleaners, Chanel stems, whatever you call them, and I'm going to wrap this greenery onto this bicycle wheel. But I do not go all the way around. You'll see in just a second. I go about halfway around and here we are. When I get to where I want to stop, then I'm taking it and I'm taking the greenery. Instead of cutting it off, I am going to just go right back up the same exact place that I did before. So this is going to be, just give it more of a fuller look. And that's what I'm talking about right there. That's how it looks so far. Then we are going to take these lights I got from the Dollar Tree. And these are the greenery lights. And I just thought these would really blend in and the lights would show up. And I just really liked how this turned out. And we are basically just, um, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the battery pack. But all we're basically doing is putting these lights in those pop cleaners also. And that's it. I mean, it's that easy. It wasn't hard at all, y'all. And it's, I think this turned out adorable. And I love the look of the lights in with it. So just weave those in and out right there on those Chanel stems, those pop cleaners. Uh, get those secured in there. Now we're going to take some lemons. Again, that yellow is just a little too bold for me. Y'all have heard me say this a million times. I take Dollar Tree lemons and Hobby Lobby lemons. 
I don't know how many. I take three of the Dollar Tree ones and then a few of the Hobby Lobby ones and I paint them in that same. I'm calling it a butter yellow because that's what it looks like to me, y'all. And we get those painted up and dried. Now I'm going to secure my battery pack. First, one of my little spokes broke. So I had to glue that back down, which was not a big deal. Now I'm just going to put a huge amount of hot glue and stick my battery pack on there where it is facing outward so that if I could change the battery, if I need to change the batteries, I can. Now I'm just figuring out my placement of my lemons that I want to put in there. I just put a couple little clusters. I don't overdo it with the lemons on this. Um, just in case, again, if I want to change this out, I didn't want to have to pick up pick off a whole lot of things that were hot glued down so we just get them like we want them we use some little yellow flowers that i had in my stash from the hobby lobby that were also a clearance find and it's like a vine of yellow flowers and i just stick those right in there and just wrap them around the bicycle spoke is that what it's called bicycle wheel then we're going to take some baby's breath and just add some here and there just to give it a little bit more dimension i guess i love how this turned out I think it is so cute. Now we're gonna take one of these rectangle pieces from the Dollar Tree. We're going to paint it with this blue color from Folk Art. I'm not sure the color on this. Y'all, I'm bad about telling y'all colors and I apologize for that. I promise I will try to get better, but I'll try to put that in the description box also. Then we're gonna take a little decal I made on my Cricut that says Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. We are going to attach that to our wreath with some hot glue, and that is it. Look how stinking cute that is. I'm absolutely in love with this. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We do have a playlist linked down in the comments. Make sure you check out all these amazing crafters. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, Y'all come back now. You hear?